Hello folks, it's me, I'm Big and I'm back, and this is Let's Play Unlimited Saga. And is anyone here? Judy, Daddy! What are you doing here? My first grandpa! Blah, blah, blah. I w so you're helping someone in trouble. Oh my, is this your daughter? Hello, I'm Judy! <laughs> Looks like the, c c the bubble saying, Hello, I'm Judy. <laughs> It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm, I'm Theresa. Theresa, I'm also... I'm afraid of being nothing but a nuisance to your father. A nuisance? Why well, is nothing of the kind? Another guest. I've been sent here by Ms. Bovice. He says, and I quote, I am deeply indebted to the late Mr. Hines, therefore I would like to propose to take up care of Miss Theresa. And he says that he wants to take your daughter Ursula as Armand's wife. He must be out of his mind. He thinks he's going to do us a favor, stealing my daughter. Out with you. Oh, a little bit of... Yeah. Well, I appreciate Mr. Bovey's offer. It's a matter of a woman's pride. What's more, his son's a worthless wretch. There's no way I'm giving my daughter the likes of him. Does Armand like Ursula? No, says, he's made advances, but it's not like he cares for her. He just wants what he, he can't give, and if he can't get it, he gets it, he shows it off, you know. She treats women like objects. Oh, now that I think of it, Ursula's late coming home. I'll go look for her. I've got a bad feeling about this. I hate to trouble you, but... Yeah. Well... Theresa looks like Mom, you can think. Oh. Have you been up to something? I suppose so. Your mother has been th thrown fairly far. Well, have you been up to something? Staying at a woman's house? Hmm? Hmm? I see. The stronger your magic power, the further you're thrown. That means I'm the furthest. And you recognize the background? That's Toro. If you see, you see it in Judy's quest, it's right at the top right of the map, even further from Iskandaria. You stop, Judy. I'm not getting my hands on the magic tablet of the Forbidden Spell. So, Rebecca is the key after all. Oh, man. His voice is a lot, a lot manlier than I remember it. So, the adventure continues after all. <laughs> That's a look, so this character is, it doesn't sound like an evil mage at all. But anyways, let's have a look see here what we have. Oh, we have a cops, and I think we want that cops. We'll trade it with um, a random bit of cotton. Yep. Oh, and we could go and have a look at the. Other end, uh, over at uh, um, over at uh, Saravos as well. Not the very big map we, we have right now, but that's to be expected. So what do we have here at these shops? Um, nothing to, to barter with yet. Cedar, serpentine, serpentine might be good for for repairs. Well, cotton leggings is better than nothing, but I mean. Um, cloth armor is interesting as well, but uh, we'll get some better armor later. Yeah, we'll get some cops as well. Very useful item. Well, not not as headgear. Oh, we have some more silver. We don't have money for that. Um, I'll save the serpentine till later. I'll save the silver for later, and um, I'll leave. And if we head to, back to um, Seren, we have our. Um, and, of course, there's no adventure we can go on. Second City is, is another side quest, but so it's not uh, where we're going to go to. We head for information. This inn used to be owned by Heinz and Theresa. After Heinz died and Theresa retired, we took over. Oh, so she's a widow. Mr. Bilvas is the owner of the vast plantation, and he has been the village's chief since Heinz's death. He's a great man, but he's spoiled Armand. And we don't know what to do about him. Oh no! Armand and his men kidnapped Ursula! Dun dun dun! And that's what the adventure starts with Save Ursula. So that's what's up next. As we wait to load. He must be hiding deep within! I won't forgive anyone who doesn't treat a girl right. Well, let's first off check on Thomas. Thomas is probably a character that we will be adding to the final party. But um, he has a quite a fair bit of LP. Um, 
Yeah, probably the other reason we'll, 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 we'll add him because um, we didn't use him in, in, in another in the other quest that he's available at, which is Ventus. Um, he has um, axes. He already has a throw panel, which is, well, um, he already has a throw panel, which is useful. Some diplomacy, gun arts, and a bit of toughness doesn't really hurt. <laughs> toughness doesn't hurt. <laughs> no, just, okay, so look at his making. He's got a great bit of strength and skill and so usually I would have gone for uh, a spear user or just a typical axe user but we're not using axes are we so um, his elemental making he has a lot of fire if you look at that um, but we, we're not using fire either he, he uh, the strange thing is um, he doesn't have very good uh, magic stat growth but he does have a lot of fire elemental so building him as a, as a mage isn't such a bad idea and also um, one other thing you might want to notice is that um, for 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 uh, for for him, actually, I'll have to move him right to the front. Um, for him, um, uh, probably because of that high elemental make uh, elemental making, that's why he didn't get thrown uh, he gets thrown further than Judy, despite Judy having a lot more magical alignment than he does. That's my that's my thought process on how why why uh, Judy is uh, kept. Uh, closer to the house so you know he might be gifted in magic after all okay next up some equipment so we're not using a gun we're not using an iron axe let's see what's available to us that could uh, deflect well holy silver dagger at the moment um, and I bet eventually the wooden sword would unlock uh, some sort of deflect so we'll equip it on on him for, for now um, and for lack of better things to equip, we'll give a wooden armlet and uh, the staff to Thomas. Because I want Thomas to eventually be able to use a, a staff. Um, and maybe earth. Uh, okay, so we head up here with some wild links. Oh, I miss like these random battles. I haven't had them done for the longest time. So Judy, it... let Daddy handle this. Oh, Daddy's got a southern accent for some odd reason. So from now on, Daddy's gonna talk in a southern accent. Um, and a bit of boulder. Actually, let's avoid using Kurt altogether. Because using well, we want Kurt to um, we want want um, Judy to tank most of the damage. No, not what I meant is uh, we're not going to use Kurt in in the in the final playthrough of this. So we might as well have Judy and Thomas tank up the damage. Come on, learn something. I love his throw animation as well. It's like. So a sure you can type thing to it, you know. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. Some tech animals. You need to learn that. Um, as per usual, when I, whenever I play as a, have Judy play through, um, I can't remember what 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 which which direction I need to go. So give me just a second, folks. I'll need to look it up. All right, I am back, and I'm not sure what I need to do here. I, I think um, we could explore the cave. There's there's a boss we can fight as well. So I think, um, well, might as well get the best out of what's available, shouldn't we? So let's go up and. Um, I think we need to go up and then all the way up, like here. Yeah, we, we don't have a turn limit. So, there you go. There's a treasure chest. Um, nobody has any kind of skills. You know what? I'll, I'll have um, Judy use fortune teller on it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. 
Well, since now it's level one. There's a stone sword inside. Wonder if the content changes. Yes, it does. Okay. One more time. Oh. And we get a stone axe. Is it Moloch? Nope. Serpentine. Darn it. Okay. We head down here. I think there's another treasure chest down at the bottom right here. Is it guarded? Yep, guarded by some undead. So that's our next set of enemies. Uh oh, Judy's poisoned. Which is never a good thing. Skull Boomerang! Oh, he missed. Oh, oh! Oh, he missed. Comes the old thing, isn't it? Okay. No. Oh. Judy is out of HP, so I'll just leave her behind a bit and have Thomas do all the work. Ah, this is relaxing, knowing that we could uh, hang out and relax for a bit. <laughs> In comparison to my... Well, to, to most boss fights, actually. Judy's quest is actually not very hard at all. And I think we could be able to um, finish her quest relatively quickly. Yep, she's normal now. Oh, what do we have here? Slimes! Can we chase you away with, with a uh, an appropriate skill? Yes! We have some diplomacy we could apply to you. Goodbye, slime. And he left a treasure. Very good. Okay, let's use this on a just non-specific treasure first. See what's up. Uh-oh. And we get a target. So it's made of cops. Very good. If you remember, cops is good for, for well, to combine with corps. Uh, uh, cops is very good to qu combine with quartz to turn into uh, turn it into. Uh, oh yes, a treasure slime. Now, fingers crossed. Let's hope that we could get something awesome out of you. Actually, oh dear, this is this is going to be problematic, isn't it? Um, I'll throw and hit you with a couple of slams. And Judy could Earth Veil and. Actually, actually. I'll do. Oh, slam. Two throws. Judy could Earth Veil followed by a boulder. There we go. So Judy starts off with an Earth Veil to slow everybody down. Actually, facing the... Oh yes, very nice. Our treasure slime this early might have been suicidal. Ooh yeah. Nice. Some Kawazu throw in the mix. Oh dear. Okay. So throw, throw, throw. Stick, stick. Ooh. Drag down. Some lesser. I'm seeing some less familiar skills. Oh, he's stunned. That's good. Throw skill guys, so it should be showing up quite a 
a bit more. Okay. Oh, Judy is not doing very well recovering HP. It's not good at all, is it? And we'll risk her coming up to the front. And her dad could tank some damage. And if things don't go well, we could always switch over to um, um, Kurt. Yeah. Ah. Damn it. Yes. And what do we get? What do we get? What do we get? Nothing. Fair enough. Let's check our status. Just a random staff. Well... Does anybody have quick fix? That's another question that's, that's worth... Worth, worth noting. Um, I don't think anybody here has quick fix. Learned. But... Oh, he does have... Inconspicuous. That's interesting to know. And the staff is made of cops. Wonderful. Getting a lot of cops items. And over here is a boss. With, um... Orcs! 